When the war with Gaza broke out in 2008, Devere Emanuelov and his unit were stationed at the border, getting ready for a ground invasion. Like every good Jewish mother, Mrs. Dalia Emanuelov was extremely concerned about the safety of her son. She made Dvir promise that he will text her before he goes into Gaza. <laughs> p.m. on a Matzah Shabbos, she received his text. Sadly, that was the last time Mrs. Emanuel have heard from her son. סמל ראשון, דביר אמנואלוף מגבעת זאב, הוא ההרוג הראשון של מבצע עופרת יצוקה. She was completely shattered. She couldn't believe that she lost her son so soon after losing her husband. הרגשתי שקיבלתי סטירת לחי תוך פחות משלוש שנים, סטירת לחי נוספת. התחילה השבעה, ואני כמו איזה זומבי. מרחפת, שום דבר לא מרגישה, אני מאוד כועסת, לא מברכת, לא מתפללת. A few months later, it was Dvir's birthday, and Mrs. Emanuel was coming back from an emotional visit at Dvir's kever on her herzl. When she walked into her home, she was overcome with this deep sense of loneliness. אני מסתובבת בין קירות הבית, והבית ריק, ממש ריק, ואני מרגישה כאילו הקירות צורכים את הריקנות. בעלי לא פה, דביר לא פה. She sat down in a chair and burst into tears. And for the first time since Devir was killed, she started talking to Hashem. A short while later, her youngest daughter called her up. And she told her that there's this big concert going on in Kiryat Chutzot by this famous Israeli singer, Meir Banai. Five minutes before the concert begins, she feels a tap on her shoulder. She turns around and she sees there's a three-year-old child. Before Eshel could respond, she hears Eshel's father, Benny. Eshel, Eshel, come over here, sit next to Abba and Dvir. She says, I'm sorry for being so intrusive, but why did you name him Dvir? Benny looked at her and said, you know, we actually never shared this with anybody, not even at Dvir's bris. But if you're asking, I'll tell you. He pointed at his wife who was sitting next to him, and he said, when my wife was in her eighth month, she went to the doctor for a routine checkup. We were completely devastated by the news. When my wife came home that day, after the doctor's visit, she turned on the news, and she hears that the first Israeli soldier just got killed. His name? Dvir Emanuelov. A month later, we gave birth to a beautiful, healthy baby boy, and we named him Dvir. She 
אני הבנתי, אני ידעתי, אני קיבלתי תשובה ישירה. You know, we all have times in our lives when we feel abandoned and alone. We feel like there's nobody really listening up there. There's nobody watching over us up there. It's in times like these that we have to commit to turn to Hashem and connect to Hashem and talk to Hashem in your own language. It doesn't matter where. While you're driving to work, washing dishes or folding laundry, Hashem wants us to ask Him to help us feel His presence in our lives. Try it. The results can be surprising.